trying to come to a position where you can settle and close your eyes. I'd suggest starting seated because we can move straight into pranayama. But if you'd like to start lying down, if that's what your body is calling for, then by all means, just go for it. Softly close your eyes and start tuning your attention inwards. So touch base with the three points of awareness. So your physical body. How is it feeling today? Is there any tension, tightness? And see if you can soften into your body. Notice any and all sensations that are running through it. So it doesn't have to be anything significant and simply expand your awareness to hold your entire body in it. Notice your breath, just the natural inflow and outflow of your breath as your chest rises and falls. So allow it to expand sideways, breathe into your back body so that your breath becomes three dimensional rather than just breathing into the upper chest. And then check in with your emotional self Check in with your headspace. How are you feeling today? So are you clear headed or is your mind perhaps foggy? So it doesn't matter. We're simply noticing. We're simply registering what's going on. And spend the next few rounds of breath arriving. So fully arriving in your body on your mat and in this space. So regardless of what you've got up to today or what you've got planned, any other to-do lists, work, etc. Just leave it outside of this door. So for the next hour you want to stay as mindful on cultivating a deeper connection and awareness of the body, mind and breath. And we're going to move into pranayama. Going to use ujjayi breathing. So you can contract the muscles at the back of your throat to make an audible sound as you breathe in and out. Try not to make it too loud, too aggressive, because this way you're spending energy rather than creating it and keeping it inside your body. So breathe in for 10. Breathe out for 10. Inhale 9. Exhale 9. Inhale 8. Exhale 8. Breathe in seven. Breathe out seven. In for six. Out for six. Breathe in five and let go five in four out four inhale three. 
out three. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale one. Exhale one. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Soften your shoulders, relax your face and bring the hands at your heart. So cover one hand with the other and breathe into your rib cage. Feel as it expands and softens. Notice your heartbeat and the warmth of your body. Today's practice is dedicated to the journey of strength to open your heart, which can be a big of a task. So for this reason, we will go through some stronger elements so you can feel the inner strength of your body and your mind to then open the heart when we approach some backbend. To connect to your heart space, notice all that you're feeling and allow it to be exactly as it is. Another round of breath here. And then release the hands, open your eyes and transition onto your back. So bring the soles of the feet together and open your legs out wide. You can relax here, keeping the hands on the hips or one on your one hand on your heart, the other on your belly, to deepen the connection with your breath. Notice how your weight is distributed on the mat. And give yourself permission to relax, especially through the legs or your hips. The gravity is on your side. So just naturally pulling your legs down. You don't need to do anything, just breathe. You feel the grounding energy of being connected to the earth, being close to the ground, but also noticing the uplifting energy as you breathe. Allow your breath to be deep and long. And with the next breath in, Bring the legs back up and keep them as wide as your mat. So drop them to one side. See how far you can relax. If you could do some extra sensations, you can cross your left ankle over your right knee. So that will also target your hip flexors on a slightly deeper level. Just see what's appropriate. Then bring yourself back to the center and drop the legs the other way. Stay here or cross your right leg over the left. Notice where you feel tugging, where you feel stretch, where you notice your breath. As you next breathe in, gently return to the center. Keep the feet as wide as your mat. So just you can graze the back of your heels. 
pressing down through the big toe mound as you inhale begin to peel your tailbone your pelvis and then one vertebra at a time off the mat to come into bridge squeeze your thighs together as though you hold a block there and breathe into your chest your core is gently engaged as you allow the front of the body to open press your arms down into the mat and breathe as you next exhale slowly place your back all the way down and pause here for a moment so next inhale push back up into bridge you can interlace the fingers and walk the shoulders in to deepen the stretch through the chest, the collarbones. Lift the chin slightly towards the ceiling and allow the shoulders to open. Now shift the weight onto the right leg and see if you can extend the left one. If you want, you can bring it all the way up. Perhaps extend it and bring it down let's do the other side so shift the weight squeeze your glutes extend the right leg maybe bring the foot up towards the ceiling keep pushing down through the left foot re-extend bring it down and slowly lower down all the way to the mat Spend a couple of breaths here, relaxing, gathering some strength. And we'll come up to bridge one more time. So as you inhale, lift the hips up, either interlace the fingers to walk the shoulders in, or just stay here. Notice where you feel the engagement see where you can soften one more breath in here and as you exhale lower down so draw the knees towards your chest give them a hug or a squeeze you can rock from side to side if that feels good feeling the sacrum being massaged, any tension leaving the body. So now hold the back of your knees and we're gonna rock forwards and back. So twice more like this. And next time use momentum to roll yourself up to standing. So then you begin to sink your hips down, ask for chair, you can see all of your toes. Sink, 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 come down, roll, and come up to standing. So let's do it twice more. Sink into chair, draw the navel in, roll, and come back up. If you want an extra challenge, you can synchronize your breathing here. So take an inhale. As you exhale, you sink, rock. And as you inhale, you come back up. So let's do it twice more. Exhale to sink and rock. And inhale, come up. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. So come to the top of your mat. Close your eyes and bring the hands at your heart. Notice the sensations throughout your body. Find your breath. and then open your eyes. So you inhale, sweep your arms over the head, extended mountain pose, and as you exhale through prayer, leading of your chest, come all the way down, bend your legs if you need to. Inhale, lift up halfway, 
and exhale, come down. Inhale to rise up to standing. And exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale to rise. Exhale to come down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, up. Exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold. Inhale to half lift. And exhale, fold. So let's stay here. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Allow the arms to relax. And just breathe. Bend your legs as much as you need to so you can shift the hips up when you're ready. Just stay there like this. Feeling the back lengthening. Enjoying the fresh flow of blood into your brain. And then inhale, come back up into half lift. And as you exhale, sink your hips down and come into a seat. Then lift your legs up so the shins are parallel to the mat. You can hold the back of the knees, arms extended. If you feel like it, keep the legs straight. Open through the chest, long spine, core is engaged, so is the pelvic floor, and breathe. All is good. And then release. Keep the right leg extended. Left foot is coming by the inner right thigh. Janushasana. Turn your chest towards the extended leg. The foot is flexed. And notice how that feels in your hips. And then inhale, bring your arms up. Core is engaged, and as you exhale, you fold over the leg. It doesn't matter where your hands um, land, they may reach to the foot, they can be down. Keep the chest rotated towards the extended leg and focus on bringing the left knee towards the mat. And the spine is long. Perhaps you have a strap, you can use that for here. But even if you can grab hold of the foot, try not to pull too much. But actually, you want the fold to come from your core. Then as you inhale, lift up. Bring the left hand behind you fairly close. So you can push up, lift the hips up, and extend through the right arm for a wild thing. A variation of the wild thing. Open through the chest, through the shoulder. And as you exhale, calm down. Fold over the leg to find your version of Janushasana. Inhale to rise. And exhale to push up. I'm going to look up or down. Notice what's going on in the shoulder. And then exhaling. Calm down and switch the legs. Left leg extended. Right foot by the inner thigh. So whilst it may feel like it's a hamstring stretch, and it to some extent it is, Janushasana is more of a hip opener. So bring your awareness to the right hip and what's happening in the knee. Inhale your arms up and exhale come into a fold. If you are holding on to anything try to keep your arms as relaxed as you can and focus on the outer right hip. Breathe into your back body. And 
then as you inhale, lift up right hand behind you, roll over the right shin for Janu, for Kamatkarasana. On the other side, keep pushing the hips up, chest up towards the ceiling, and breathe. As you exhale, slowly lower, fold over the leg. Keep your lower belly drawn in, your chest fairly open. With the next breath in, rise up, coming into Walt Thing one more time. Press down through the fingertips, immobilize the shoulder joint, and then exhale, lower down, cross your legs, and transition over onto all fours, to then push back into down dog. So pedal your feet, or invite any movement that feels good here. Feel your body. What does it need to get stronger? Is it flexibility or is it actual strength? Do you need to do strength drills? Press down through the fingertips, the knuckles and the heel of the hands to roll the triceps in, squeeze the elbows. Bend your legs as much as you need to to lift the sits bones up to find a length through the lower back and then drop your heels down. Breathe, keep your Uddiyana Bandha on, so the navel close to the spine. One more round of breath here. And then walk your feet towards your hands to come into a forward fold. Inhale into a half lift. And exhale, stay. Bring the right hand in between your feet. So in front, you can bend the right leg for this. And then as you inhale, float your left arm up. Look up. As you exhale, bring the left hand in place of the right and switch. So squeeze your belly. It's time you need to bend the left leg to make it more accessible. And then let's switch. One breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, stay. Come into a forward fold. Relax your arms. Tip the weight onto the balls of your feet. With a sense of trust but you're not going to go too far. Inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, step back into plank. So press down strongly through the hands, protract your shoulders, squeeze your belly, your glutes, push up through the heels, and breathe. So feel the strength of your body. Another breath here. And as you exhale, slowly lower down all the way to the mat. Press down through the tops of your feet, hands by your low ribs, roll the shoulders back and down as you inhale, push up into Cobra. Exhale through tabletop, make your way into the down dog. And then step your feet towards your hands. Exhale into a fold and inhale all the way up to extended mountain. Exhale, arms down. So this time, inhale your arms up, grab hold of your right wrist. And as you exhale, step the right foot, long step behind the left leg, bend the left leg and lean to the left to open through 
the right side of the body. Strong energy line all the way from the hip to the fingertips. Your belly is engaged. Inhale back to the center. Switch the wrists. And exhale, land with control and open. Inhale back to the center, release your hands. Exhale into a fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, down dog. Root down through the left foot. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, bend it and roll the hip out. Shoulders are square. Lift the right knee up. And breathe. Inhale back to three-legged dog. Exhale, foot down. Inhale over into plank. And exhale, find plank on the right side. So you can drop the right knee. Then push the hips forward to extend through the left leg. Right, left arm is up. If, however, you want to try a full plank, then feet are stacked or staggered. Use your internal obliques to lift the hips up. Exhale back into plank. Let's do the other side. Inhale over and exhale. Breathe, push down through the left arm. Back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga of your choice. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale into down dog. Step, walk or jump towards your hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, extend it. Exhale, into a fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale into down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest and lightly step the foot between the hands. Drop the back heel, warrior two alignment. And inhale all the way up to standing, extend your arms. Exhale, bend the front leg. Relax the shoulders. Set your drifty through the index and middle fingers. Push the mat away with your feet and feel your strength. Now left hand to your heart, flip the right palm and exhale into reverse warrior. The front leg is still bent. Breathe into your heart. Then inhale through the center, windmill your arms down, step back into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. And exhale into down dog. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest and step the foot through. Drop the back heel. Come up into your warrior two. You can do the front leg bent. Settle into the pose. Open through the hips. Right hand on your heart, reverse your warrior. Then inhale through the center, step back into plank, push back into down dog, or go for a vinyasa. Step, walk or jump. Come into a forward fold. Inhale all the way up to standing. And exhale, arms down. Bring the hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Revisit your intention. And reflect on your journey of strength to open your heart. 
do it with an equanimous mind, not judging your experience. Allow yourself to just be as you are, connect with your breath. And release your arms. Find Tadasana. Strongly pressing through the legs. Finding the energy, the strength in the core of your being. As you inhale, lift your arms up, grab hold of your right wrist. And as you exhale, take a step on a diagonal to open to the right side of the body. Inhale back to the center and exhale, go to the other side, opening through the left side. Inhale into extended mountain and exhale, come into a fold. Inhale, half lift and exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg up. Bend the leg and open through the hip. Then inhale back to the center. Exhale, roll over into plank. Then spin to find your side plank on the right hand side and see if you can lift the left leg. You can then step the left foot behind the right leg and roll the hips and chest up for wild thing. Come back into plank and push back into down dog. Rest for a moment, gather a little strength. Inhale your right leg up, bend it open through the hip. Inhale into three legged, exhale, land the foot and transition into plank. Then spin to do your side plank on the other side. You can do the left knee down, lift the right leg, and maybe roll the chest and hips up for a mini wild thing. Then come back into plank, push back into down dog, or do a vinyasa. See what's right for you. Step up or jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. And exhale, into mountain. Inhale, rise. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, to the center. Exhale, you go the other way. Inhale, extended. Exhale into a fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale into down dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Drop the back heel. Inhale into warrior two. And stay. Inhale, left hand to your heart. And reverse your warrior. And exhale all the way down into down dog. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, step it through. Inhale, find warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, reverse your warrior with the right hand on your heart. And exhale, make your way into plank. Take an inhale here, and exhale, low into Chaturanga. Inhale into back bend, and exhale into down dog. So you can take a moment to find your breath, return to child's pose, bring your arms wherever it feels good. Send your breath between your shoulder blades Three more rounds of breath here.
and then inhale, lift up to sitting on your heels. So we've got we've done two points of entry into Wild Thing. The first one was from Jan Shishasana. It's the most accessible one. You stay with the left leg bent and open through the side of the body, roll the chest out. The other one was from side plank, where you step the foot behind the extended leg and then open through the front of the body. Can extend the arm. And then with the strength of your core, bring yourself back into plank. The last point of entry is through three-legged dog, which can be made as challenging as you want. <laughs> so basically, when you start here, you bend the leg open through the hip, and then you need to shift some of the weight forward as you spin on the back foot with control. Land the back foot down as you lift the right hand and extend, roll out through the front of the body. So you come back with the strength of your core into plank or three-legged dog. You're cool. So we're going to do another little flow with a wild thing. Just choose what's right for you today, what's appropriate. If you want to challenge yourself, it's perfectly fine. It's just I know that sometimes I push myself a little bit too much. So if you feel there's anything not quite right happening in the shoulder, just take it easy. Usually one side is better than the other. All right, so let's try it. So make your way into down downward dog. Step, hop, jump your feet towards your hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up all the way to extended mountain pose. And exhale, come down. Inhale, rise, grab hold of your right wrist. So you exhale, side stretch. Inhale to the center, grab hold of the other wrist. And exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale, come into a fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, into down dog. Inhale, your right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Spin on the back foot. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, left hand to your heart. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, windmill your hands down and s bring the right leg all the way back up into three-legged dog. And now find your wild thing. So bend the leg open through the hip, shift your weight forward as you spin on the foot and begin to lift the right arm. Roll the chest up. Slowly bring yourself back into three-legged dog, into down dog, roll over into plank or stay, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, and exhale down dog, inhale left leg up, exhale step the foot between the hands. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, stay. Inhale, right hand to the heart. Exhale, reverse. Inhale through the center. Bring the left foot all the way back up, three-legged dog. Then bend, roll the hip open and shift forward. You can go as low ass into plank and then land the foot, push the hips up. Kamatkarasana is literally translated as the ecstatic opening of the enraptured heart. So allow the expression to flow through you. 
Bring yourself back to the center. One last vinyasa if you can. Inhale into Cobra. And exhale into Child's Pose. Drop your forehead down. And breathe. Congratulate yourself for your effort. Regardless of how well you think you did, you did it. As you in, lift yourself up. Come into all fours, right knee behind the right wrist. And spin so that the foot is more or less underneath the left hip. Walk the back leg out. Check if it's straight and have a little shift from side to side to find where you want to be in the pigeon. So if there's any pain in the knee, you can do the supine version. Otherwise, stay over here or come into a sleeping pigeon. Dropping down to your forearms, you can support your forehead with your arms. And settle. Keeping the engagement in your pelvic floor. Sending your breath to where you feel most sensations. Surrender into this pose. So whatever feelings or thoughts are going through your head, just try to stay as present and unbiased. Just experiencing, just feeling, just being. As you next inhale, slowly walk yourself back up and slide onto your right bum cheek, bringing the right leg over. So you want to stack your shins, your calves, keeping both feet flexed, the left foot is over the right knee. Feel free to slide a block between here if you want to. Keep the spine long and your core engaged, gently tilting with your hips forward. And then gently move to the back so you can release the front leg and see if you can unravel and bring the right leg behind you. So it looks more or less like this. <laughs> now I've got a bit more space here and here to find your pigeon. Make sure the back leg is straight. Your hips are square. You've had a little shimmy from side to side. Defined where you need to be. Open through the chest for one inhale. And either stay or come down. You can find your Ujjayi breathing. What can you do to soften further? Uh, 
and then breathing in walk yourself back up bring the left bum cheek down sweep the right leg through to come into a fire log pose make sure that especially the right foot is flexed shoulders are relaxed spine is long No force, no strain. Observing and feeling instead of judging. And then release the leg. Come down onto your back, feet as wide as your mat and allow the knees to knock in towards each other. Bring the hand in your heart, the other one on your belly, breathe. Cultivate deeper awareness of your heart space noticing any shifts on the energetic level perhaps becoming quiet to notice the more subtle sensations shifts And release the hands, draw your right knee in towards your chest, give a nice squeeze if you want to extend through the left leg. And then switch, so start with the right leg bend just for a moment to notice your hips. If all is good, then extend the leg, keep it firm. And then bring both knees up towards your chest. Hold over the back of the knees or lift the feet up. Thread your arms in between your legs to grab hold of the big toes or outer edges of the feet for happy baby your ankles are over the knees as though you want to bring the knees all the way to the mat draw your tailbone closer to the mat to keep the spine long and keep your back glued to the mat although we're using our arms try to keep them relaxed and use your breath to soften the areas where you feel sensations, density, tightness. ready gently release the legs you can keep the legs together extend your arms wide out to the sides into a um, cactus shape and then drop the legs to the left so keeping the legs together see if you can keep the right shoulder blade down relax here Allow the spine to restore. Inhale.
elbowing yourself through the center and drop the legs the other way visualize what's happening in the inner landscape of your physical body so what's happening to your spine what's happening in your hips And breathing in, come back to the center. Draw the knees towards your chest. Again, rock from side to side. Or do anything that feels good right now. And take a full body stretch. When you're ready, settle into Shavasana. Close your eyes. And allow yourself just to be. So the journey of strength also requires rest and some moments uh, to reflect. So to check what's blocking the energy flow, where there is perhaps resistance in your body. So allow this Shavasana to reap all the benefits of your practice. Let it incorporate your intention into your way of thinking and processing in the emotions and allowing the physical body to relax.
begin to inhale more deeply and move your fingers, your toes, any movement that feels intuitive. When you're ready, roll over onto the right side. Spend a moment here. So slowly transitioning out the deep relaxation. Then push yourself back up into a comfortable seat, keeping your eyes closed. Bringing your hand to your heart just one more time. Noticing the openness, the expansion, thanks to all the work you've put in. Feel gratitude for your body. Thank yourself for your time and your practice and all your effort. Now bring the hands in Anjali Mudra to close the practice with one round of arm. Take a deep, long breath in. And softly open your eyes. Thank you very much for your practice with me today. Namaste. I hope it's served you and you're feeling the gratitude, you're feeling that you've managed to open your heart slightly and also realizing that it is a journey of strength um, and softness to be able to do that. So if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch um, from my Facebook and email. Um, and I hope you have a lovely evening. So take care. Mwah.